Hi, my name is Dr. Philip Ritzlowski of the Advanced Foot and Ankle Center of San Diego, and welcome to The Fix. Today we'll be joined by Dr. Strundre Patel, who has an amazing case with him today of Charcot neuroarthropathy and the wound associated with it. Uh, so this patient suffered from Charcot neuroarthropathy, which is a very debilitating condition in which the patient has fractured dislocation and uh, deformities. Now these deformities lead to overloading of a certain part of their foot leading to ulcers and infections. Now, this particular patient also had calcaneal gait due to Achilles rupture. Now, combining these two issues, this patient needed a stable extremity, a, a foot that can bear the weight, and uh, during the normal gait, the weight would be transitioned from the heel to the toe. To address this complex problem, we discussed uh, fusing the ankle or locking the ankle in appropriate alignment as well as to close the wound at the bottom of the foot with a, a flap. It's called a keystone advancement flap. So now we are you know, combining this orthopedic problem with a plastic problem and uh, addressing this complex issue with two different specialties. Ah, so you're basically, this patient is spending too much time on their heel and they get these wounds. What could happen if you have a wound on your foot? Correct. So. If these wounds are not treated in a timely fashion, it can lead to infection and ultimately amputations. So you end up doing this procedure mm -hmm. and I see your x-rays, everything looks really fantastic. And I love the way you built the frame. I kind of do it the same way myself. I got the double ring block on the leg. I, it's very helpful for these patients that are neuroarthropic, that these patients that have loss of sensation. Tell us about how the case went and your post-operative protocol. You know, just to go over the construct, uh, as you mentioned. So I like to use uh, Orthofix TrueLock Evo uh, construct, and oftentimes I use a hybrid, uh, meaning I use the metal components of this Orthofix external fixation, as well as the carbon fiber. And this carbon fiber rings, which is the halo, as well as the struts, it allows me to visualize the important osseous structures behind the rings and the the struts. So. You know, I like to use a tibial block of rings and connect them with the radiolucent struts. And the patients also like this external fixation because it's very lightweight and uh, they tolerate it a lot better. So in essence, the frame is able to accomplish two separate things. One, you're using it to compress the ankle to obtain your fusion. Mm -hmm. And the other, you're able to offload the foot where there's no pressure on your flap site. Mm -hmm. and the patient doesn't step on it because they have these rocker rails that is built into the frame. Yes, uh, so you know we apply these rocker rails so that the bottom of the foot is completely in the air. So when we do this, you know, delicate plastic surgery work uh, under the bottom of the foot, rotating the skin to cover the wound defect, we want to make sure that there is no pressure going as they're healing. So that's the beautiful thing about this offloading uh, external fixation is that the patient can transfer from their bed to go to the bathroom or sit in a chair and they won't put any weight under the bottom of the foot. So the flap won't die and it will allow the wound to heal. So how did the patient end up doing? How, where are they holding now? So patient did really, really well. Um, we were able to achieve a solid ankle fusion and we were able to lock the ankle in appropriate alignment. The flap also was success and patient was able to heal the wound completely. Uh, patient is enjoying his life. He's going back to work in a diabetic shoe and a brace and he enjoys his uh, time when he's not at work with his grandkids. And he uh, is very grateful because we were able to save his leg and avoid an amputation. Wow, that's amazing. I'm so happy to hear that the patient still has his leg and that he's been fixed. Yes. Thank you for joining us today and sharing with us this case. My pleasure. I'm Dr. Philip Roslovsky. Join us next time on The Fix.